A former WWE manager just pointed out a big flaw in the booking of Roman Reigns, so we'll see what they had to say. We'll also see what's going on with Paige, what Ronda Rousey had to say about Cody Rhodes, and much more. Let's start things off with this Ronda Rousey and Cody Rhodes topic. Ronda Rousey was recently asked about the possibility of Seth Rollins versus Cody Rhodes at WrestleMania, and had this to say about that matchup, quote, the possibility of Seth and Cody, I'm excited about the possibility. I've never got to see Cody wrestle live. He left right before I got there, end quote. And that's true, Cody Rhodes was released in spring 2016, and Ronda Rousey came full-time to WWE in 2018. So, if Cody Rhodes does compete at this year's WrestleMania, it'll be the first live match that Ronda Rousey will watch from him. As far as everything with Ronda Rousey goes, she and Charlotte still have a pretty realistic chance to main event night one of WrestleMania. Reports claim that the only main event that's truly locked in at the moment is Roman Reigns vs Brock Lesnar at night two of WrestleMania. That's been locked in for a really long time, but night one's main event is still up in the air. Originally, reports claimed that Ronda Rousey and Charlotte Flair was the main event of night one, but then other reports came out and said that Kevin Owens and Stone Cold Steve Austin were main eventing Night 1. Now, the latest reports claim that Night 1's main event is completely undecided. It can be the original plan of Charlotte vs. Ronda, or the main event could go to Kevin Owens and Stone Cold Steve Austin. The plans for Night 1 main event may change several times within the next few days. So, until the day comes, or WWE confirms a main event themselves, no one's going to have any idea about what closes out night one of WrestleMania 38. Paige came into NXT right around 20 years old and appeared to be one of the most promising young superstars for WWE. And only a couple of years after signing with WWE, Paige was already on Raw after WrestleMania pinning AJ Lee for a WWE championship during her first night on the main roster. You usually don't see a new 21-year-old superstar coming in and pinning established stars for titles during their first night on the main roster. Definitely not something you see every day. So it was a sign that Paige was going to be special and that WWE was behind her. Paige would spend a majority of her first year in WWE feuding with AJ Lee. Then a year later, she would join the forces with AJ Lee to take on the Bella Twins in her first and only WrestleMania match. Then 2016 rolled around, and things started to get a bit bumpy there. Paige was dealing with a neck injury, received wellness suspensions from WWE, and just went MIA for a part of that year. But fast forward again to 2017 and the impossible takes place. Paige makes a full recovery from her neck injury and returns to Raw to lead a heel faction with the debuting Mandy Rose and Sony Deville as Absolution. And it was great from the start. Paige was showing a whole different side of a heel persona and leading Mandy and Sonya as best as she could. But then tragedy struck again when Paige was re-injured just a few short months later during a live event show. Paige said that the doctors have told her several times that they're amazed she was even able to walk out of the ring that night because she could have been paralyzed. And since that night of the event, Paige hasn't stepped foot back into the ring to compete. She's done some roles as SmackDown's GM and some managing, but not much else besides that. And she hasn't been seen at all on WWE television since early 2020. But even going through two career-ending injuries, fans are still holding out hope for Paige's return one day. The list of Miracle Wrestling returns continues to grow so often. Edge, Brian Danielson, and now Nikki Bella, who were all told they'll never wrestle again, and found their way back into the ring after several years. So, that's a mentality that some fans have to keep that hope alive. They figure that Paige is just 29. Even if it takes her 5 more years to get cleared, she'll still have time to make a comeback. A fan recently asked Paige about what she personally wanted. They mentioned how the fans always talk about wanting to see her return, but no one ever asked Paige what she wanted herself. Paige replied to the tweet by simply saying, I want to wrestle again. 
Paige also added this comment to fans who were comparing her to the likes of Edge and Brian. She had this to say about that topic, quote, It's wild that some people are like, well, Edge and Brian came back, you are just lazy. I'm inspired by them, I'm not lazy, my neck needs to recover, we are all built different, sorry, end quote. And that's very true. It's motivational to see other wrestlers make a comeback after being told they'll never wrestle again. But just because one wrestler came back from a similar injury doesn't mean that everyone with the same injury will be able to come back. All bodies recover differently. Of course, before this year's Royal Rumble, there was several reports claiming that Paige was fully cleared to go. But as it turns out, it was a bogus report. So, the wait for Paige to return to the ring or return to WWE television in any way will have to continue for now. Former WWE manager Dutch Mantel recently spoke with James Romero. They talked about a big flaw surrounding the booking of Roman Reigns. Mantel had this to say about the topic at hand, quote, A wrestling roster is just like a baseball roster or a football roster. You've got to have a bench. You've got to have people who can step up and do the job. But they don't have a bench. After Roman Reigns, and I want to think for me now, who is the next main eventer that the SmackDown bench has? End quote. And he brings up a great point because it's true. In these other sports like the NFL and the NBA, every single position has a backup player for emergency situations. An injury goes down or that starter can't go, then here comes the backup player off the bench to carry the team until the starter returns. Every team has that certain amount of roster depth, but in WWE, like he said, there's not a lot of depth and there's no immediate backup player, per se, for Roman's position. So if Roman gets a little banged up and needs some time to rest, there's no one they can really turn to and say, here, continue what Roman was doing. Sure, you have your few top guys like Drew McIntyre, but then the issue doesn't stop there. The issue will become, well, who will Drew McIntyre feud with? So, it is a serious issue and flaw with the roster. It's Roman Reigns all the way at the top of the roster, with no one really on the same level, and then the rest of the roster underneath him. So hopefully that is something that they continue to address and find some backup players for Roman Reigns, other stars that are on his same level. The problem is, even starting now, like we've been talking about, if Roman wins at WrestleMania 38, who will he face next? It's really hard to tell, but we'll have to see how that all unfolds. But what are your thoughts on today's stories? Leave your comments below, don't forget to subscribe with all notifications on, and leave a like if you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, guys.